If you look in a preschool or even kindergarten classroom, you see many children playing. Children at that age learn through play, and those children love school. I do not believe that play should stop after kindergarten. Students, no matter what age, would benefit greatly from authentic assessment. They need to find meaning in what they are learning. A teacher must not only teach the concepts, but the students need to use them in real life situations. And that is exactly what authentic assessment is. Psychologist Lev Vygotsky believed that children learn through play and interacting with their environment and peers. And he was completely right. Cooperative learning is so beneficial, and a constructivist classroom are those that are most successful. Benjamin Franklin once said, Tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, and involve me and I learn. As a teacher, it is very important to understand that assessment informs instruction. We must go through all the steps to assessment in order to have a successful learning outcome. Those steps are diagnostic assessment, formative assessment, and summative assessment. Diagnostic assessment is done before instruction takes place. This allows the teacher to determine the level of instruction and where to place the student. This is the time we find out the child's learning modalities and multiple intelligences. It is extremely important to obtain as much background information of the child as possible. The more you get to know the child, their likes, their interests, the easier it will be to build a good rapport with them. Effective domain is so important because if a child does not like or trust you and they're not comfortable, you can stop right there. This will heavily affect the child's ability to learn. Formative assessment is done during instruction. And at this point, you should have all the background information you need, including the child's multiple intelligences and learning modalities. So then you can begin instruction. Because remember, if a child cannot learn the way we teach, we need to teach the way they learn. That is why differentiating instruction is so important. The summative assessment is done after instruction. This is when you determine if the child has actually learned from what you taught them. This is an evaluation not only as you as the teacher, but for the student as well. This is the time you can discuss any progress or any areas needed for improvement with the parent and the student. This is the time you can provide any further recommendations as well. I had the opportunity to work with a wonderful three and a half year old preschool girl named Ava. I do not believe I would be nearly as successful if I did not go through the steps of assessment. I was successful because I formed a connection with her. She was comfortable and confident. I learned her multiple intelligences and learning modalities, which helped extremely in the instruction process. The fieldwork experience has validated my teaching methods to be positive ones. I have learned so much from this experience, and there are so many things I will take with me as a future educator. I will always remember effective domain is key, and assessment informs instruction. I understand that whether you are a student with disability or not, you will benefit from authentic assessment and differentiation. I, as a future educator, want to not only teach my students the concepts, but make it come al alive in a way that they understand. I will do my best to give every child as much individual attention as I can and differentiate as much as possible. My students will be confident and motivated because I will not only be their teacher, I will be their advocate. Here you go.